best team that you will find anywhere in the nation for educators. Now, we want to start um, tonight. I, I want to first tell you, uh, Dr. Brackett sends his apologies for not being here this evening. He's representing us at the school board meeting tonight, um, as principals so often find themselves needing to be in 10 places at one time. So that's where he is this evening. Um, and he's asked me to fill in for him to begin this program tonight. My name is Nicole Davis, and I am one of the assistant principals here at Harbor High School, beginning my fifth year here at Harbor. Um, and like I said, just delighted to see all of you this evening. We want to start by doing some uh, introductions of our leadership team for you. And if you want to follow along with tonight's agenda, I hope that uh, while you were sitting there waiting for us to begin, that you've had an opportunity to scan our QR code that's on the screen, or perhaps you saw it out in the halls or doors out there uh, to follow along. If not, you can, you can catch up with us as we go. So I'm going to ask this, uh, these leadership members to step out on the stage as I call their names so that you'll put a face with the name of who is leading Harbor High School this year. Uh, first, we'll start with the assistant principal of the Meds House, and that is Mr. Jacob Hayward. He's coming. Next, the assistant principal over Habit and also over our Language Academy. Ms. Margaret Robinson. While she's coming out, some of you may not even realize that we have the Language Academy here at Harbor High School. So let me give you a little bit about the Language Academy. The Language Academy is where we have a basically a welcome center for newcomers to the United States. And Harbor High School uh, is very excited every year to invite these students who have very little knowledge of the English language, of the American culture, and we bring them here and we teach them all we can and, and get them out into um, the culture of Harbor so that they can experience an American high school like none other. So uh, she leads that charge, uh, Miss Margaret Robinson. Uh, next, we are excited this year to welcome back home, who some of you may know from years past, Mr. Patrick Scott as the new assistant principal over the Acme House. Mr. Scott was here with us uh, previously, about five years ago. He was here as a football coach, and he has spent some time as an administrator across the district where you may have seen him at Helen Tyson. And we are so excited to have him here and uh, for him to join our team in the work that, that we have ahead at Harbor. Uh, like I said, uh, Dr. Brackett is, is not with us tonight. He may come in late. We hope he'll be able to, to see you before the night is over, but we're not certain. just depends on how that meeting goes. But he is the principal over the ACDC house and I am the house uh, principal for the Fed's house. Uh, next, we want to introduce Coach Chris Wood. I'm not sure if he's here with us or not, but uh, Coach Wood uh, helps us out with some discipline and other administrative tasks as an administrative assistant. And we also want to introduce our instructional facilitator team. Uh, these three ladies are a dynamic team. One of these ladies is joining us this year, uh, just moving down the hall from an English classroom to the uh, instructional facilitator's office. So if I could have Miss Jessica Shelton, Miss Kathy Bolin, and Miss Shelley McKeever come out. These ladies are leading the instruction in your students' classrooms every day and helping our teachers make sure that they are putting forth the latest, greatest um, in curriculum and instruction for our Harbor Wildcats. Next, we're gonna bring out each house individually. We're gonna introduce the house facilitator of that group. And also with them, we'll have the entire teaching staff for each Academy House of Harbor to come out. We're not gonna introduce them by name because there are 160 teachers at Harbor High School. So it would take us a while to introduce them individually. But we're gonna give you an opportunity later this evening to go and, and visit with them individually, have some Q&A and time to uh, just just talk to them before the school year gets started. So we'll start with uh, Miss Angie Anderson. She is actually our house coordinator, along with many other hats that she wears each day. So y'all thank her for her work. She has spent many hours uh, outside of the school day a couple of years ago researching and looking at the best models of wall-to-wall uh, -wall academies across the nation so that we could bring those ideas back to Harbor and implement them here in Springdale, Arkansas so that our students here could also have access to such great learning. Miss Susan Felder, 
is the house facilitator for ACDC. If you will come out with your team of teachers, Ms. Felder. ACDC teachers, y'all join her out here, please. And I'm going to let Ms. Ms. Felder just real quick say what ACDC is and give us just a couple of little, I'm putting them on the spot, they don't know they're doing this. Give us just a couple of little uh, tidbits about it because we had some technical difficulties with our video that we were going to show tonight. So if you'll just give them a little bit about the ACDC house. Uh, ACDC stands for Arts, Communication, and Design Community, and so we focus mainly on the fine arts. Uh, we have a great group of teachers, as you can see before you, and you'll get a chance to visit with them uh, in a little bit. But we're excited about uh, this year and our second year as houses and all the opportunities, the things that we've learned, the things that we can make better, and we just look forward to uh, helping your students express themselves artistically. Thank you. Thank you, ACDC. Next, if I can have Miss Brittany Martinez and her teaching group from the ACME Academy House. <laughs> I'm Brittany Martinez and I'm the house facilitator for ACME that stands for Architecture, Construction, Manufacturing and Engineering. And this is the fabulous, fabulous ACME crew. Give them a hand. We have a lot, a lot of opportunities in the ACME house and a lot of credentials that we want to give you. And so we are excited to see you. When, if you're in the ACME house, one of these fine people would be your advisors. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to come and see us in the gym and we'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for coming. And next, we'll have the Habit House come out. And I'm going to let Ms. Shelton come out and speak. Ms. Shelton has been the house facilitator for Habit, and she is passing the torch over to one of her colleagues. And I'll let her introduce him, as well as uh, get a view here of this great Habit teaching staff. Sorry, I got to lower this. Okay, hi. I'm Jessica Shelton, um, former facilitator for Habit now an instructional facilitator. Um, and I would like to introduce the new facilitator, Jonathan Roberts, and he's gonna tell you, woohoo, yeah! That's what I'm talking about, good introduction. Gonna let him tell you a little bit about the house. Hello, uh, my name is not TBA, as you might have believed before. Uh, <laughs> uh, the Habit House, um, we deal with agriculture, business, and information technology. Uh, we have some great extracurricular programs that our students are involved in, that they're able to get out in the community, explore careers they may be interested in. And we just have some great teachers. I'd say there's some gold medal teachers here, uh, kind of with the Olympics theme. And we're just, we're glad to be here and glad to have you guys. And now if I can have Miss Marianna Hendersey come out and bring your meds house teachers with you, please. I would say that you are looking at the finest teachers we have in Harbor High School. I'm a little biased, I'll admit. My name is Marianna Hendersey, and I am the facilitator for the meds house. As you can tell by the name of meds, you might already be guessing it is a house designed to facilitate students into the entrance of the medical field. We are looking at introducing children into careers right out of high school, two-year two -year degrees, four-year degrees, and then advanced study. So the students that are in the Meds House will have ample opportunity to look at a variety of medical professions, and hopefully we can provide them with the experience and the insight that they need to succeed in a medical profession. And this is my magnificent team. Take a bow, guys. And now if I can have Miss Phyllis Weiss come out. She's the house facilitator for my house, which is FEDS. And if all of our FEDS teachers can join her on the stage, please. Good evening. FEDS stands for Public Human and Education Services. 
and our career focuses on any kind of service, such as military, teachers, lawyers, etc. And this year we're going to have a teaching academy, and I'm going to let Miss Angie Anderson come and speak about that. As she's coming up, let me also tell you, Miss Anderson, I was going to introduce her in just a moment. She is also facilitating our advisory work, and the work that she has done with that is phenomenal. We're going to be introducing prime time this year, which many of you, if you are sophomores or juniors, we're not going to have to explain that to you. You may actually have to help us implement prime time because you've been doing that in junior high. So, uh, Miss Anderson. The new academy that we're opening is called Teaching Training Leadership Academy. And this academy is set up to, for students who think they might would like to go in the teaching field. It doesn't mean, matter if they would like to do pre-K or they want to do high school, or maybe they even would like to be a professor in college. This will give them the opportunity to be in the classroom, prepare some lesson plans and decide, is this really what I wanna do? And we're hoping, yes it is. We want to give the opportunity for our PTSO to speak to you this evening because we have hands down the best PTSO that I've ever seen working in a school. And I came from a school district in, in Houston, Texas that was over 220,000 students. So when I say that it's the best in the nation, I've seen some pretty good ones before. So the president, um, her second year as president is Miss Lisa Lovell, and she's going to speak to you for a few minutes about all the great work that the PTSO does here at Harbor. Welcome, glad y'all are here tonight. Um, the, the purpose of the PTSO is to support the charitable and educational purposes of the school. So what you see on the screen here are the types of things that we do. Basically, if a need is presented or a need comes up um, or is requested, we help supply that need. Um, starting in 2015, we started a grant program. We're really proud of this. All um, Harbor staff are eligible to fill out an application and they can submit the application to request grant funds. Um, you can go ahead and move on. These are the, um, the monies that we provided in 2015 um, just to meet some needs that were not met through normal budgetary things. In 2016, we were able to get out, give out even more money Um, one of the things that we're most proud of is that uh, we're able every year to supply close to $2,000 to help buy turkeys for the Thanksgiving baskets for the students' uh, families who are in need. And then you can see other things that we do just to help the school out um, to provide some needs. Um, you can go ahead and advance that too. <clears throat> Our support all comes from the income that we're able to generate. Um, and that includes the grant money that we're able to give out. One of the large ways that we're able to do that is through apparel sales. These are this year's t-shirts. All of these are for sale tonight in the rotunda. So swing by and pick up a t-shirt. The short sleeve ones are 15. The long sleeve t-shirt is 20. And I meant to have a teacher here tonight and I forgot to ask him. But the Wildcat logo that you see is actually on the sleeve. And for those of you who are cool, it's the dad position. I'm not cool enough to do that, but you kids will know what that means. Um, we do accept cash check or credit card. We're able to swipe a credit card. <coughs> you go ahead on the next one. In, um, in January, we're, our major fundraiser will be something different. Um, in the past several years, several of you know, we've had the Wizards game. We're not going to be doing that this year. For contractual reasons, I can't tell you who the group is just yet, but we have contracted with a group who's going to be coming in that will appeal to students and adults, it will appeal to you too. You will enjoy being here and listening without your ears being um, completely burned out for the night. Um, so when, that, when you see those tickets available, please come and support that event, remembering that all of the money, 100% of the money that um, you spend that night will come directly back to Harbor. Um, the last way that uh, we're able to generate income is just through membership dues. So tonight, ways that you can get involved is you can swing by our tables in the rotunda and join PTO. Membership dues are just $5. Um, also, please join us on Facebook, like our page. That it's a good source of information. It's a place that um, we emphasize announcements or have different announcements. And then also it's um, opportunities to volunteer and to help in the school. 
And then also when those opportunities are available, please, we love you volunteering. We recognize that our students do better when parents are involved and we love you being involved. Welcome. So before we break to uh, go out to some different sessions for you to get more information, we wanted to share with you ways that you can stay connected with Harbor High School. We want you to get on the social media and find our official uh, pages. We have uh, at Harbor Official is our Twitter account. We have push notifications through Remind 101, or if you don't have a smart device, you can also sign up for text messages from Remind 101, and that is a building Remind 101, so it will send you information about all sorts of events that we have going on on campus, whether it be uh, competitions or the PTSO uh, concert event that will be coming up in the spring, athletic events, uh, meetings such as this will be uh, put through that Remind 101. There also will be handouts tonight with the uh, information and more details on how you can sign up for that if you're not familiar with Remind 101, um, but we encourage you to do that. Um, check out our website. The uh, site is listed up here. You can also access that through the Springdale Public Schools website. You just go up to the top left-hand corner of the website and click on Schools and find Harbor. And then, of course, we're on Facebook as well, so find us at uh, Harbor High School on Facebook. Uh, before we go any further uh, into telling you where you need to go for the rest of the night, we don't want uh, the night to end without recognizing one of our probably our most valuable staff member here on campus we are honored for the partnership that springdale public schools um, has with the springdale police department and we have by far the best school resource officer that is in springdale and that's mr matt ray y'all give him a round of applause we want him to know we back the blue So for the rest of the evening, let me explain to you kind of what the uh, agenda will look like and where you can go. Our different houses will be in both of our uh, gyms. So in the Wildcat Arena, which is our main gym, you can find all of the teaching staff from the Acme House, ACDC, and Habit. Again, in the main gym, you can find the teaching staff from A Acme, ACDC, and Habit. And over in the small gym, which is the auxiliary gym, you can find the staff for meds and feds. What we would like to do now is we would like to ask for the sophomores, actually don't get up yet, but first when we dismiss, we want the sophomores to go to those locations. Our juniors and seniors who are here with us this evening, we want to invite you to go to one of three places, either the rotunda, the front lobby, or the cafeteria. And in those locations, you can find parking permits, locker signups, lunch accounts, Chromebook permission forms so that we can get those Chromebooks issued to you as quickly as possible. Parents, those Chromebooks cannot come home with your student without these permission forms being signed. Um, we're very excited to be able to issue a Chromebook to every student who walks through our door here, so please be sure you get those permission forms signed tonight so that we can get those uh, devices out to them. PTSO, as uh, she mentioned earlier, will be here for you to sign up and also to sell Wildcat gear. Our nurses will be here this evening for you to be able to fill out health cards and talk to them about any specific concerns you may have over your students. And then the last thing I want to mention is if you in the past have qualified for free and reduced lunch, we urge you to fill those forms out early. We have them available here tonight in the cafeteria. Please go by, get those forms, fill them out, leave them with us tonight fill them out, send them back with your student the first day, however you want to get them back to us. Uh, we want to get those in so that your students can get the services that they need. So at this time, sophomores and your parents, if you will please uh, go ahead and make your way to either the main gym or the auxiliary gym. If you don't know where that's at, the other assistant principals will lead the way. Juniors and seniors, if you'll hold back for just a moment. 